Alrighty folks, we are standing here for the national anthem as we're getting ready to get started. If you guys are just tuning in, we are live here from Hornetsville. Producer KJ and Daryl McCoy on the call. We got the Phelps Hornets versus the Pike Central Hawks. Beautiful rendition of the Star Spangled Banner. Daryl McCoy, producer KJ on the call tonight as we have the Hornets versus the Hawks. Yeah, I'm excited to be here, Daryl. Yeah, this is your first time over here, huh? I've been here and watched a game, but I've never got to call a game. There's number zero, yep. Jalen Rigdon for Pike two, Central. Number two, Peyton Compton. Number 21, Jalen Stewart. Number 21, Jaden Stewart. Blake Adams. Number four, Blake number Adams. 12, Isaac Reynolds. And number 12, Isaac Reynolds. That rounds out the starting and lineup for Pike Central. At guard, number one, Mason Prater. For Phelps, at guard, number one, guard, Mason number Prater. Dawson McCoy. Number 34, number 14, Peyton McCoy. Number 14, Hayden Mounts. Number five, Corey Termeyer. And number five, Corey Termeyer. And number 24, Reese Norman. And number 24, Reese Norman. This should be a great ball game, folks, as we're getting ready to get started. Pike Central, it's a 60th district matchup here. We want to thank Justice Muffler, JMS Sales and Services, Billiter Construction, Phelps One Stop, Hornets Restaurant, and Blessings From Above. You can see the sponsors down at the bottom of your screen, guys. It takes all them sponsors to make things happen here at Phelps. And man, do they. Every uh, time we come here, they step up and support these young Hornets. He called number 34 Dawson McCoy. Yeah, girl. he is. That's 24, Dawson. Uh, 24 is Reese Norman. Uh, yeah, 34 is Dawson McCoy. Yeah, they had him as Melvin in the book here. Right? Yeah, that's his that's his given name. But Dawson's his name. There's Jaden Stewart with an early bucket. We got the scoreboard up. There's the Citizens Bank scoreboard, top right-hand corner of your screen. Now, Norman looking for Prater. Back door wasn't there. Swings it over to Mounts. Back to Norman. He'll hand it off to McCoy. Now McCoy, he's a guy that can really fill it up. He can score in a multitude of ways. One of my favorite players to watch. Right there he was, you getting off it. early. You called it. Now here comes Rigdon. Rigdon kicks it out. They swing it over to Compton. Back out to Reynolds. Reynolds dumps it down to Stewart. Stewart. Yeah, he misses the play in there. Prater has it out top for Phelps. Nice pick by McCoy. You know, Mason Prater, the younger brother of Danielle Prater, Phelps star. Hayden Mounts, three guys, three pointer. Guys, three guys, pizza and brew has sponsored all the three pointers this season, so it's a three guys, three pointer. Uh, that's like. They're coming out. Phelps is in man. I don't know how good the 
decision that is against this Pike Central team, KJ. No, I don't either, especially with Rigdon's quickness. And, you know, Stewart's got the size down low. That's no. what they're trying to work with. Listen, uh, yeah, I don't want to put a blueprint out there. I've seen this uh, Pike Central team as good as much as anybody. And I'm telling you right now, there's only one way to beat them, and that's keep Rigdon out of the paint. Yep. You know, if, uh, if you keep them out of the paint, you got a uh, you got a chance, a small chance, <laughs> but you got a chance. But if you can't do that, then it could be a long night. Crumpton misses a three. Ball's going to be out of bounds on Jaden Stewart. We well, you know this was the 15th region runner-up last year. Yep. Renee Rigdon White tuning in. Yeah, you know, they uh, shocked, shocked the world by beating Betsy Lane, making it to the region championship. Nice take. Yep. That was Prater on the take. Yep, Rigdon kicks it up court. He kicks it down wide open. We got Reynolds, goes up and strong with it. Isaac Reynolds with the bucket. Mounts, three point jumpers up. And it's good. That's his second three guys, three pointer. Back to back threes for Hayden Mounts. He's feeling it to start the game here. Yeah, Rigdon kicks it out. Blake Adams to Rigdon. There's Compton. Off hard. Three down to my mounts for Phelps. Yeah. Hayden Mounts is the younger brother of Christian Mounts, former Phelps star and Pike Central star. Compton gets it up to Rigdon. Swing it over, dumps it down. Easy work, but no. Stewart uncharacteristically missed the layup there. It's gonna be over the back, yeah. And you got Dennis on the call tonight. I can guarantee you there'll be no traveling <laughs> with Dennis around. He'll get you every time. You better pack them bags. Don't he plan on traveling. There won't be no junk talking from the crowd either because no, he'll sling them out of here. Yes, he will. <laughs> Dennis, he told us the other day, might be his last year officiating. Wow. Yeah. Three-pointer up, no good for Prater. Rigdon grabs the board. Picks it up court. Nice take. Compton gets it stripped. Coming back. Mason Prater on the move. Nice pass. Beautiful pass. And that's going to be Hayden Mounts going to the line. Right now, Phelps, you know, they're not backing down, KJ. No, they're up to an early 8-4 lead here. Yep. Something about home court, Daryl. It is, and, you know, especially here, you know, we heard the boys before, you know, talking about, Said uh, D and D Sports is in the house, and uh, you know, said they always get up when we come. So we'll see if they can put on a performance and possibly shock the world here. Mounts misses the first one. Gets the second. Nine four is the score. Rigdon surveys his offense here. That's what he has. Nice, nice cut. Yeah. Yes, sir. Oh, he misses the lay-in. Rigdon gets the rebound and the putback. He says, just patting the stats a little. Yeah, they missed three easy ones here to start the game. Yeah. Mounts goes up, misses that one. Stewart. There's Blake Adams, kicks it down. Gonna be out of bounds, Hornets ball. Yeah, that, that's half the battle. If you ain't beat before they get off the bus, you might have a chance to get to Pike Central, but a lot of teams get intimidated before they even get off the bus. I yeah, see that name across the jersey, Daryl, and it intimidates them. Yep. And especially when you got that dynamic duo with Stewart and Rigdon in there. And then, you know, people overshadow, they overshadow their their core, you know, but that's Look the thing. Look at here, and one. Mason Prater going to the line here. He says, don't be a Prater hater. You know, Phelps has come out hot here to start the game. Now you got uh, Stafford in the ball game. Now Stafford, Cameron Stafford is the son of Joe Bright Stafford. Williamson legend. Didn't he just get in the Hall of Fame at Western Carolina too? Yep, Western Carolina Hall of Fame. And so, uh, you know, he's a lot of people consider him the second best player to ever come out of Williamson. 
Mark Pine. Mark Pine, yep. There you go. Rigdon off the bounce. They're going to get Hayden Mounts for the foul. Tara Tackett says, East Tennessee, go Hawks. You guys, let us know where you're watching from, who you're rooting for. When these players go home, they're going to rewatch this, and they want to see you on there cheering them on. You can catch these games live on here, and we also load them to YouTube after, or you can also watch it on dndsports.com on our website. Rigdon stops, pops, and does not drop. Stewart with the rebound. He's got Termeyer on him. Yeah, I like, I like the job Termeyer's doing on him over there. We'll see if Termeyer can stay out of foul trouble. Yeah, it's a tall task, literally and figuratively, when you're trying to guard Jaden Stewart. Now, Rigdon and Stewart's just uh, juniors, right? Or Stewart's no, sophomore. Stewart's sophomore, Rigdon Four junior. Yeah. Two-pointer up, no good. Rebound, Stafford. Compton in the paint. Great job by Compton. And they're going to get, I think it's Brad Builder. Sends a hornet flying there. They're going to get him for the offensive foul. Throwing the elbow there. Billy Chambers tuning in. Know where he's watching from, KJ? Nope. West Union, Oh, Ohio. yeah, I do too. My man tunes in about every game we do, girl. Yep. Now we just need Sue Pat Lester in the house. Here we go. Hayden Mounts. Nice take by Mounts, and he gets it to fall. Yep, with the left hand. Yep, 14 to 6 right now. Phelps on top of Pike Central. Kick it over to Builder. Back out to Stafford. Rigdon. Oh, he gets it stripped by McCoy. Here comes Prater on the move. They're going to get Stafford for the foul. Yep, block him flat. <laughs> block him foul on Stafford. Wow, who would have thought this? Pike Central coming out, jumping on. Or Phelps jumping on Pike Central early. Uh, Burnworth, David Burnworth says, PCC is my favorite team in Pike County. I drive from Buckeye Lake in Columbus, Ohio uh, to take in the Pike County Bowl. Well, David uh, Burnworth, we really appreciate that. Anybody that supports mountain athletes like you do, uh, we definitely got a lot of respect for it. Yeah, we're all one community and need to support each other here. There's Sue Cat Lester tuning in. She says, hit that like and share button. She's Miss Phelps. Gail Rigdon watching from Maysville. Hit them both, JJ. Yep. Gives him five on the night. Don't forget, guys, after this, this is a boys-girls doubleheader. The girls will play the main event tonight. And man, does Coach Justin McCoy have his squad playing well tonight. Or right now. Compton. Gets over to Rigdon, Rigdon. That's where he's dangerous. Yeah, we got to talk with Coach McCoy today. He's very excited about tonight. Yeah, he, he should be, you know, and this is the first time in a long time they've had a chance to beat Apoc Central. So, you know, they, uh, but it's going to be a heavy task because Coach Bobby's doing a great job as well. Up there on the hill. Nice take by Stewart. Phelps. Uh, we'll score back-to-back -back buckets there. Now yeah, Pike Central's cut it to six. Yeah. Mounts has it out top. It's over to Prater. Prater drives. Nice job carrying it like a running back there, KJ. Cradle is in and got to the hoop. Now off the glass back the other way was Peyton Compton. 18-12. Mount picked up by Compton, or Builder. Stewart jumps out. Phelps is going to hold for the last shot here, 20 seconds left in the first period. Clean game Norman. so far, too, though. Yeah. Yeah, it's been a smooth game. No fouls, really. Uh, man, it'd be big if the Hornets could score here. Oh, he goes right at him. Going to be out of bounds. Pike Central ball. Two seconds left to get a shot off. Yeah. Rigdon half court heave. Oh, <laughs> almost. <laughs> We're going to have the Phelps Hornets at the end of one on top, 18 to 12. Come right back and join us for second quarter action.
Whether you're buying gas, snacks, or tobacco, stop by Phelps One Stop at the Phelps intersection and take care of all your convenience store needs in one location. Phelps One Stop is a proud supporter of the Phelps Hornets and all mountain athletes. Billiger Construction, serving Pike County since 1973, can handle all jobs, big or small, from installing water or sewer lines, building a house seat, or much, much more. Contact Billiger Construction, the name to know. Call them today at 606-623-5723. That's Billiger Construction. Mm -hmm. All right, guys, back here live in Phelps, Kentucky. 18 to 12, okay. Phelps, after the first quarter, Daryl. Okay. Surprisingly here, Hornets up six, Daryl. Yeah, I mean, great performance so far uh, from both teams, but, you know, Phelps coming out and uh, really backing up the home floor here, the home court advantage. Yeah, Prater, Prater and Mounts carrying the load there. Prater had seven and Mounts has nine. For Phelps to lead the way, then Jaden Stewart and uh, Jalen Rigdon has four apiece for Pike Central. Mm. And we're coming out, guys. We want to thank Justice Muffler, Sales and JMS Sales and Services. Rigdon or Stewart with the block kicks it over. Prater, no good. The uh, want to thank JMS Builder Construction. Phelps one stop, easy, that's too easy. Billiter with the basket. Yeah. Blessings from above and Hornet Restaurant. Guys, uh, if you're just here to watch the boys game, make sure you travel down just a, about a mile down the road and get some great food from Hornet Restaurant before you leave town. They do a great job supporting these young Hornets. Here comes Rigdon. Nice, nice take. job, yep. Yeah. That's big boy basketball there. And Pike Central within two, whatever. Whatever was said in between the uh, quarters there and then timeout, it obviously worked because Pike Central has got back in this thing and uh, with a chance to take a lead if they get a three here. Yeah, they stepped up their defensive intensity there in the start of the second period. Yeah, Coach Ratliff, uh, you know, I mean, he's one of, one of my most respected coaches in the region. You know, the man just come from coaching football and uh, took this team to a region championship last year. Rigdon's going to go to the line and shoot two uh, for the Dawson Hawks. McCoy upset. He don't agree with the call there. That was going to be on McCoy. Rigdon at the line. We got Sean and Gomez watching from Louisville. Says, let's go, Isaac. Love London. Good luck, Lady Hornets. <clears throat> Rigdon makes the first one. Ronnie Hatfield watching from Okeechobee, Florida. Sue Cat Lester says, welcome to Hornetville, D&D. And Sue Cat, you know, this is our home away from home. The, uh, we sure like coming here. And I always love when we get to cover the Pike Central Hawks as well. There's going to be a quick timeout. As Phelps takes the timeout, we'll jump out too. We'll be right back. Phelps versus Pike Central here on Thursday Night Hoops. There's no reason going out of town and spending your money at big box stores when you can keep your money local and get everything you need right here in Phelps, Kentucky at Blessings From Above Floral and Gift Boutique. They have Ray Dunn items, Simply Southern, Home Decor, Primitive items, and they also make floral arrangements. That's Blessing From Above Floral and Gift Boutique. You can contact them on Facebook or give them a call at 606-456-4808. Go Hornets! Let the folks at Double Quick help you start your 2022 off right. They've brought back the Bourbon Pecan Coffee for a limited time only. You can also quench your thirst with the great deals on fountain drinks they offer daily. Double Quick is your one-stop shop for everything. They offer breakfast, lunch, and dinner. 
you can stop by one of their many storefront locations spread throughout eastern Kentucky. Stop by and let Double Quick make your day better. We're back here in Phelps, Kentucky at Phelps High School as we got a 60th district matchup here. Phelps and Pike Central. KJ, they're knotted up at 18 here in the second quarter. Yeah, Phelps started out hot in the first period and then uh, Pike Central's rolling here in the second and tied this ball game up. Hayden Mount, don't forget guys, we got girls action coming up next. Boys, girls, doubleheader. Don't call it travel. Yeah, and See Mikey Fleming. Hey, how you doing, Coach? There's Coach Cameron Smith in the house to support the Hornets. Good defense on Rigdon there. Yeah. Altered his shot. Uh, Rigdon gets the pick and the easy lay in. It gives him 10 for the night, Darrell. Yeah. Now, Pike Central's took their first lead of the game at 2018 here. Uh oh. Yeah. Surprised they didn't call a technical there on Rigdon. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, you know, we don't know what was said there, but the, uh, uh, you know, when he chased him down there after he turned his back is when I'm surprised they didn't call it, but thank God they didn't. And, you know, you always, in a game like this, you want the stars to be out there for both teams. You know, Rigdon, he's just a competitor. They kick it out. Nice take. Easy lay in. And the foul. Yes, sir. Hayden Mount says, hey, you like me now. Crowd's getting fired up, Daryl. Listen, when you come to Hornetville, that's what you expect. What'd they call there, Daryl? Oh, they call it a M1. Well, they're wow. just gonna give him the two point basket there. I thought they called a foul too. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I mean, he singled the basket yeah. good, and I don't know what happened. I don't either. Yeah, that's. If I was Coach Ratliff, I'd definitely be finding out. He missed the scoop and score there. It's going to be out on Peyton Owens. Renee Rigdon White says, thanks for the stream, D&D. &D. Well, the, uh, thank the folks at Builder Construction, Hornets Restaurant, blessings from above. Look here, alley -oop to yep. Rigdon. JMS Sales and Services, McCoy with the rebound. And Phelps one stop. Conveniently located at the Phelps intersection. Nice take there. Fleming. Yep. You know, Mikey Fleming is the son of Phelps coach Greg Fleming. Oh, okay. But he's also the uh, stepson of a 60th district star in Mark Booby Maynard. Okay. Peyton Owens is in the game for Pike Central, number 34. Yep. Kick it over, Owens, baseline jumper. He gets it to Paul. You know, he's a kid that's really come along over the years. McCoy, they better get help. They kick it over. Termeyer kicks it to the corner. There's Fleming. Yeah, Fleming cross court. McCoy, ball fake, no good. Nice take. Yeah. Never gonna call the foul. Fleming will be inbounded underneath the, the goal for Phelps. We got number five checking in for Box Central. It's Caden Crum. Yeah, Caden Crum, he's a kid I really like. Two way player. Gets after on both ends. He's also a big baseball star up on uh, Buckley's Creek. Now swing it out. Compton back out to Rigdon. 
Compton, they're looking for Stewart down there on the block. Yeah, they're doubling though, yeah. if you paying attention there. Oh, and they let him have it. No wow, good. what a try to tip yeah. him by Stewart. All right now, they're, they're trying to make Stewart's life miserable. Nice. Prater, yeah. yes sir, Prater couldn't get it, but block. And Jaden Stewart misses a lay-in. Listen, that makes about three layups he's missed all, oh, yep. And I tell you what, if that ain't a technical, I don't know what is. The, uh, you know, we're as big a Jaden Stewart fans as you'll find, but that's about as clean as technical as you can find. And, and it was just frustration yeah. on Stewart. You know, I mean, he missed a couple layups and he's frustrated, you know, uh, but he's normally not that kind of kid that will they, get involved in skirmishes. They didn't call it technical though. They're just getting the foul oh, on him. Wow. Well, that's a big blessing for Park Central. Big blessing. But the Hornets are in the one and one. That's the seventh team foul on Pike Central. So how about that? They got a chance to tie it up with both free throws here. Stewart goes to the bench. And you can tell he's beating himself up over there. He, he knows he shouldn't uh, snap like that. Ooh. Dawson McCoy misses the front end of a one and one. It's going to go back out of bounds to Pike Central. Riggy. He's going to have to carry on while Stewart's out here. It's Compton working around the perimeter. It's a yeah. Rigdon. Foul on jumper stripped by Termeyer. Lemming kicks it up court. Prater's trap comes. They kick it out. McCoy, he can hit it. Off the mark. Compton grabs the board. Here he comes on the break. Peyton Compton, nice dish out. Nice way to run the floor by Peyton Owens there. And easy to. Now, if you're Phelps, you got to be careful right here, KJ. They've jumped up four. You played such a good first half, you don't want to let it go. This trap's getting to him. From, nice take by Fleming. Yeah, couldn't convert. He misses the runner. Compton. Owens. Weak side rebound. Somebody's got to block Reynolds out there. We'll call a foul on Termeyer. That's his second. And Dennis is on top of things down there. David Burnway says, wow, refs are having an off night. That's what the Phelps fans think here, ain't it? Yeah. Got number 24 for Phelps checking in. Yeah, that's, that's Reese Norman. Yeah. And number 25 is Gavin Hamilton. Brigman has it up top. Gives it to Compton on the left wing. Over in the corner. Well, somebody got to put a hand in his face. Isaac Reynolds gives yeah. him four on the night. And McCoy got caught watching on that one. Puts Pike Central up by six. Now it's looking for help. Throws it away. That, that should have been a backcourt. Well, he didn't yeah, ever he, have yeah, possession. Yeah, he didn't have possession. Nice yeah. take. What was following in the first period, Daryl, is not following in the second period for Phelps. No, and uh, right now, I mean, I don't know how much uh, you can leave them two on the bench. This is a rough lineup for the Hornets. We're going to take a quick timeout. We'll be right back. 119 left here in the second quarter. It's the Hawks on top of the Hornets, 28-22. Whether you're buying gas, snacks, or tobacco, stop by Phelps One Stop at the Phelps Intersection and take care of all your convenience store needs in one location. Phelps One Stop is a proud supporter of the Phelps Hornets and all mountain athletes. If you was pushed out of the area because of loss of work in the coal industry, look no longer. Jim Mar is here for you. Jim Mar is now hiring for all positions in the coal field. Stop by their offices in Logan, West Virginia or in Willing, West Virginia and apply today. All right, guys, back here live at Phelps 28-22 Pike Central. You're watching the D&D &D Sports Network, the number one source of sporting news in the mountains. 
KJ producing and my man Daryl on the call. Thursday night hoops here delivering 60th district basketball action right now. We got a good one, Pike Central on top of Phelps, 28-22. Prater has it out. Prater, long three, no good. Rigdon says, slow it down. Kicks it out to Builder. Back to Owens. Nice backdoor cut, Rigdon. Oh, he gets blocked. Reese Norman says, no, sir. Mounts pulls up. He can't convert. Owens with the rebound. Here comes the Hawks on the move. Nice take by Rigdon. Count it. Jalen Rigdon. Looks at cheerleaders in my bad. Tell you what, KJ, there is no question in my mind that's the number one point guard in the 15th region. Absolutely. I think so, too, myself. Mm -hmm. I think you got, uh, and if you go in our coverage area, you probably got Saldine uh, probably just a tad ahead of him, which I'm not saying Rigdon can't get there in a year. The, uh, you know, next year, who knows, because Sal's got a year on him. But uh, and I'll tell you what, the Bledsoe kid from Westside, you ain't never watched that kid. He's special. I don't think he's in them two's category, but he's close. Also like uh, Garrett Williamson over at Logan. I know I'm missing uh, another good one. I just, I'll uh, race the board out of Ashland. Nigel Nichols from over at Letcher. Yeah, that, guy, that was Rigdon's 13 points on the night. Mm -hmm. Roger Bryant tuning in says, setting in Winfield, getting ready to watch Chapmanville versus Winfield. Well, Roger, make sure after that game you get a picture of the stat book and send it over to us if you don't care, and a picture of the scoreboard. Yeah, keep us updated on the score. Right now, 17 seconds to go. Phelps down nine. Be big if they could score a bucket here. Um, Mason Prater off the mark. Nice pass by Rigdon. Yeah. And just like that, it's stretched out to a double-digit lead, KJ. That's why you wait to the last second to take that shot. You don't give them any time, and instead you lost all the momentum you built up in the first half by just rushing a shot there. We'll take a quick break. Be right back with halftime analysis here on the DND Sports Network Thursday Night Hoops. Billiter Construction, serving Pike County since 1973, can handle all jobs, big or small, from installing water or sewer lines, building a house seat, or much, much more. Contact Billiter Construction, the name to know. Call them today at 606 623 Five seven two three. That's Billiter Construction. There's no reason going out of town and spending your money at big box stores when you can keep your money local and get everything you need right here in Phelps, Kentucky at Blessings From Above Floral and Gift Boutique. They have Ray Dunn items, Simply Southern, Home Decor, Primitive items, and they also make floral arrangements. That's Blessing From Above Floral and Gift Boutique. You can contact them on Facebook or give them a call at 606-456-4808. Go Hornets! Let the folks at Double Quick help you start your 2022 off right. They've brought back the Bourbon Pecan Coffee for a limited time only. You can also quench your thirst with the great deals on fountain drinks they offer daily. Double Quick is your one-stop shop for everything. They offer breakfast, lunch, and dinner. You can stop by one of their many storefront locations spread throughout Eastern Kentucky. Stop by and let Double Quick make your day better. Here at Appalachian Medical, our team has extensive experience in dealing with respiratory disease. That's why we specialize in respiratory products and disease management. We want to bring our knowledge and know-how to help patients live a healthier life. 
Appalachian Medical was developed by clinical professionals. We have more than 30 years of combined experience in respiratory disease management, case management, critical care, and more. Our respiratory therapists are skilled and compassionate. With offices in Kentucky, West Virginia, Indiana, Ohio, and Pennsylvania, let us be the ones you trust with your medical health care. Gracie and Tate merchandising has become a staple here in the Danville and Madison community. They'll make sure you find that treasure that's been eluding you. Everything you need under one roof. New items at discounted prices right here at Gracie and Tate Merchandising. Go Skyhawks! Whether you're buying gas, snacks, or tobacco, stop by Phelps One Stop at the Phelps intersection and take care of all your convenience store needs in one location. Phelps One Stop is a proud supporter of the Phelps Hornets and all mountain athletes. Billiger Construction, serving Pike County since 1973, can handle all jobs, big or small, from installing water or sewer lines, building a house seat, or much, much more. Contact Billiger Construction, the name to know. Call them today at 606-623-5723. That's Billiger Construction. There's no reason going out of town and spending your money at big box stores when you can keep your money local and get everything you need right here in Phelps, Kentucky at Blessings From Above Floral and Gift Boutique. They have redone items, Simply Southern, Home Decor, Primitive Items, and they also make floral arrangements. That's Blessing From Above Floral and Gift Boutique. You can contact them on Facebook or give them a call at 606 456 Four eight zero eight. Go Hornets! We're back here. Producer KJ Daryl McCoy here at Phelps, Kentucky. We want to thank tonight's sponsors, JMS Sales and Services. JMS Sales and Services right now will take care of all your dirt work needs. If you got dirty work to be done? Call JMS Sales and Services located here in Phelps, Kentucky. They are also now hiring multiple positions. If you can load an loader or you got that blue collar work ethic, they're looking for you. Call JMS Sales and Services right now. Want to thank them. Also want to thank Hornets Restaurant. Hornets Restaurant located here in Phelps, hey. Kentucky. Hornets Restaurant is your go-to pizza place. The uh, the uh, is your go-to place for pizza, world-renowned for their cheese sticks here. We stopped on the way in. I ate a pork chop and some pinto beans, and I tell you, KJ, I ain't never felt better. No, and I had uh, their pizza was excellent. That's what I ended up eating. And guys, if you're all tuning in or know somebody around, that's where they need to head after the game. Get underneath it. Yes, sir. After this ball game, if you're tuning in, a lot of people we see them out in the crowd with phones to their ears, listening while we're watching the game. Make sure that you guys take and uh, when you leave here, you know, because there's a boys girls double header. If you leave or you need a break in between games, head on down to Hornets restaurant. I also want to thank the number one Phelps Hornet supporter out there, Mr. Tim Builder. He's always sponsoring. If it's got to do with Phelps, it's got to do with Builder Construction. Right now, Builder Construction can take care of large jobs, small jobs, medium jobs, or all jobs. You know, don't matter uh, what time of year, they can take care of you and not only make sure you're compliant and up to code, but they can do it at the cheapest price. Give them a call, Builder Construction. Blessings from above, KJ. They got Valentine's Day special right now. You can go in there, number one boutique here in Phelps, Kentucky. You can get flowers, boutiques. You can get, uh, what's the, uh, uh, I'm looking for the word, KJ. What's the, uh, the word that uh, when you got like farmhouse stuff in your home, the uh, you've got me yeah, tied right now. I'll think of it here in a second. You folks, let us know. Uh, um, I think it starts with a P. Uh, the uh, but it's not home interior. It's kind of the the other stuff. But uh, we'll, we'll get it here in a second, folks. But go, head on down there either way. I mean, they got boutique items. They got flowers. They're a flower shop. You know, prom coming up. Give blessings from above because they're the ones that care about the athletes here in Phelps, Kentucky. 
We also, last but not least, KJ, want to thank our friends at Phelps One Stop. First time sponsoring with us, and we spoke to them. Listen, Jackie Darrell, and uh, I forgot the lady's name. The uh, Linda Sue, is that it? Yeah. The uh, Jackie Darrell and Linda Sue, the uh, uh, great people. Uh, and they're conveniently located right there at the three-way stop in Phelps, Kentucky, KJ. Yeah, we got to talk with that guy for a long time today. And really nice guy. And he, he likes supporting his community here in Phelps. Yep. Let's give these uh, scoring round up here, Daryl. For Phelps, Mason Prater has seven points. Dawson McCoy, two. Hayden Mounts has 11. Mikey Flemings has two. For Pike Central, Jalen Rigdon has 13. Peyton Compton, two. Jaden Stewart has six. Isaac Reynolds has six. Brad Builder, two. And Peyton Owens has four. And that rounds out your scoring for first half action. And like Daryl yeah. said, guys, stay tuned because after this yeah. game, we'll be coming back with a different stream with the girls' action. You know, I couldn't. Um uh, you know, the, I thought Phelps played a really good first half. And then after that first half, you know, they uh, the, at the end of the half there, they had a chance to keep the, a single-digit deficit going into the locker room. But they decided to pull the trigger with about seven seconds to go instead of waiting for the last shot. And Hornets got up court in a hurry and ended up pushing this thing out to a double-digit deficit. And uh, that move right there may have killed your chances because – in a game like this, you need every bit of momentum you can get, and that was a momentum killer, that bucket at the buzzer. Yeah, it was a tell of two quarters. Phelps, the first quarter, man, six-point lead. Pike Central outscores them by 17 in the second quarter. Yep. But like I said earlier, the shots that was falling for Phelps in the first quarter wasn't falling in the second. And then Rigdon took over there in the second period after Stewart went out with the – Foul. Well, we're getting ready to get started. We got 39 seconds to go here, guys. Again, I want to thank Mr. Tim Builder at Builder Construction for all the work in the community. Builder Construction for over 50 years has been helping the Phelps community. And, uh, you know, when it talks about, when you talk about community work, you're talking Builder Construction. All right, guys, getting ready to start the second half here. Yep, Pike Central up 11 right now, 33-22. Producer KJ, Daryl McCoy on the call here on Thursday Night Hoops. Yeah, I'm excited to be my first time calling a game with Phelps. Mike Perry tuning in. Yeah, we was down there the other night, down there in Lawrence County, and uh, Mr. Hayden Perry was putting on a show. They ended up dropping, uh, getting upset by Fairview. But I'm telling you, Hayden Perry, one of the top kids in that 2027 class, KJ. He's a special one. There's another foul that on was that Stewart. Stewart. Yep. Wow. Got him running over the screen again. Is that his third? Yep. Yeah, Ratliff looked at him and shook his head. Reese Norman bringing it up for Phelps. Norman hands it off to Mounts. Mounts back over to Norman. Norman pulls up, uses the glass, no good. If I'm Norman, he's got Stewart on him. I'm attacking, man, trying to get that fourth foul. Yeah, you definitely want to do that. And you see Dawson McCoy limping. You know, we were speaking to Coach McCoy before the game, and he said Dawson McCoy has a bad ankle injury right now. He said, you'll see him limping. And you can see it right now really getting to him. Well, you can tell how heavily wrapped they got it down there. Yeah. Nice backdoor cut by Stewart. He misses another bunny. Yeah, Stewart, it's just one of them knots. You know, but he can get going in a hurry, though. Yeah. But. I've seen him get going. Oh, yeah. Nice backdoor pass. Yeah. Couldn't convert. Surprised Mikey Fleming isn't getting more PT. You know, I don't, of course, I don't know all the uh, ins and outs, but, you know, Fleming, you'd think, is one of their key pieces. Nice backdoor cut by Rigdon. Swings it out. Ball movement. Pull up. 
Blake Adams, no good. He follows the shot. And he misses the layup. Doesn't get Dawson McCoy with the foul. Yeah, Rigdon's going to the line for two for Pike yeah. Central. Great job by Rigdon going in there and doing work deep in the paint. Right now, Pike Central has missed an alarming amount of layups. You know Coach Ratliff cannot be happy with that. David Burntworth, uh, Burnworth says, do y'all think online sales for tickets are hurting the size of the crowd? Uh, I absolutely do. I, I mean, me, myself, I'll be honest with you. If I didn't have a media pass and the only way I could get that ticket was to buy it online, I wouldn't go at all, KJ. Okay, nope. We've gotten past that. I could understand when, you know, when COVID first came out and they started doing that, they were scared. And I, mean, I believe we've gotten past that now, don't well, you? Well, I don't even know what the purpose of doing an online sale is. I mean, just that you ain't got to handle money? Yeah, or, they, was, they mean, started that in COVID where you didn't have to hand cash and cash back to the yeah. people, you know. We over and back on Phillips. Goes right back to the Hawks. Reynolds to inbound for Pike Central. Guys, we ask you to go down and hit that share button. Get these numbers up for these boys. You know, and, you know, the good thing, you know, KJ, is when D&D's in the house, you know, we, we normally promote the ball games. This was late added, so we didn't get a chance to promote this one. But the uh, there's Mikey Fleming, downhill basketball. And shot no good. Termeyer gets the rebound, kicks it back out. Nice block. Yep. The, uh, but, you know, that's one thing that D&D takes pride in is how we uh, really help with ticket sales, help push uh, it not only for the schools, but, you know, it helps. It's, people don't understand, you know, I mean, we need this gymnasium to be packed because it makes a better viewing audience when we're here, and it's a better atmosphere for the kids. Ooh, they call a blocking foul on mounts, and it's going to be uh, number mm -hmm. two. Peyton Compton going for the line for Pike Central to complete the old-fashioned three guys pizza and brew three more. Yeah. They've opened this up to a 15-point lead, though. It gives Compton five on the night. Mounts gets trapped. He turns it over. Reynolds back the other way. Turnmeyer couldn't stop him there. Reynolds using every bit of that length to get that shot off. Yeah, that gives Reynolds eight on the night. Trap comes midcourt. Another steal still. by Reynolds. That's what I'm saying. He's long. He's athletic. Norman says, I, I'm going to make you earn it. Got a full timeout. Yep, they're going to take a full. We will too. We'll be right back here on Thursday Night Hoops here on the DD Sports Network. Here at Appalachian Medical, our team has extensive experience in dealing with respiratory disease. That's why we specialize in respiratory products and disease management. We want to bring our knowledge and know how to help patients live a healthier life. Appalachian Medical was developed by clinical professionals. We have more than 30 years of combined experience in respiratory disease management, case management, critical care, and more. Our respiratory therapists are skilled and compassionate. With offices in Kentucky, West Virginia, Indiana. Gracie and Tate merchandising has become a staple here in the Danville and Madison community. They'll make sure you find that treasure that's been eluding you. Everything you need under one roof. New items at discounted prices right here at Gracie and Tate Merchandising. Go Skyhawks! All right, guys, back here live in Phelps. 40-22, Pike Central over Phelps, girl. KJ, I'm going to go down and hit the share button myself here. Make sure you hit that like and share button at home, folks. Get these numbers up for these boys, and don't forget, Boys, girls, double header. We got girls action coming up next here on the D and D Sports Network Thursday night hoops. Reynolds. He misses the first. Yeah, flings that one off the front of the rim. 
Now imagine Phelps led for the first quarter, quarter and a half, and then and now Park Central's jumped this out to a 19 point advantage. And the thing is, what makes it dangerous, and you got to be excited about it if you're Coach Eric Ratliff, is they've, they've done it a big part with Stewart on the bench. Nice take by Norman, his first bucket of the night. Stewart has Termeyer on him, double comes. Kick it back out to Rigdon. Adams off the mark. Rebounded by McCoy. Norman has it out top. It's over to Fleming. Stolen away by Stewart. Stewart yeah. brings it up to Adams. I'm sorry, that's Compton, my bad. Yep. Compton with the basket. Yeah, them two are easy to get mixed <laughs> yeah. up. Gives him seven on the night. You know, that pressure of Pike Central really bothering Phelps right now. Yep, stolen away by Reynolds. Gets it in Stewart's hands. Yeah. Phelps is really, you can tell their game plan was to take Stewart out of the game they have, because every time yep. he gets it, he's double teamed. Oh, I spoke to Coach uh, Ratliff before the game, and that's what he said. He said, you know, he said, our game plan is to uh, stop Stewart. And they uh, make Rigdon beat us from the outside. Well, the, uh, yeah, I mean, uh, I, I told him, I said, I, I disagree with that. I said, you know, if you're going to be, if you're going to try to beat this Pike Central team, you know, you got to cut the head off the snake, and uh, that's Mr. Jalen Rigdon. You got to keep him out of the paint. If you keep him out of the paint, then, you know, you might have a shot in the dark, but if, if you can't keep him out of the paint, which I, I don't know anybody that has, uh, <laughs> yeah. you know, it's going to be a bad night for you. At number 23, Brad Builder checking in for Pike Central. Yeah, Cameron Stafford also back in the ball game. Yep. And Hayden Mounts coming back in from Phelps. Cam Stafford transferred over from Belfry at the beginning of the season, or really before the summer started. A good addition for Pike Central. Yep. There's Rigdon it's knocking down the free throw. Yep. Yep. Jumped out to a 20 point ball game. Things, wheels have come off here for Phelps. And again, guys, up next, girls action. Boys, girls, doubleheader. If you've not seen Miss Callie McCoy for Phelps, you're in for a treat. Yeah, we had her in the uh, Jenkins tournament over there, and she was our player of the game. She lit it up. Had yep. like 20, 22 or 23 points. And, oh, Termeyer with the bucket. The uh, You also got to remember the uh, – there's a little storyline there behind it, too. You know, I mean, Kylie Weddington, point guard, transferred over from Pike Central. She'll be uh, playing against their own team. Rigdon. Yeah. With Mounts. Swings over to McCoy. Trap comes. Termeyer has it out top. Uh, Stewart may have got a piece of that one. Gets it over to Stafford. Stafford ball fake. He misses the shot. Phelps wanted the foul. It never did come. He ran Peyton Compton going to the line. <clears throat> yeah, he was in the right place at the right time. Mm. Billy Preston says, are you going to carry any of the games at Williamson Fieldhouse? Billy, we will be there from start to finish. The, All uh, 12 games, baby. Yep. You got four tomorrow and eight on Saturday. D&D Sports Network. But listen, guys, you need to come down and pack that field house out. Absolutely. I mean, that's one of them days. If you're a basketball fan, you need to be in that house because you've got 24 of the top teams with the best prospects in the mountains going at it. All in a two-day period. Let me turn over. Now, he looked. Dennis overturned the call. He let the player make that one for him. Good job by Cam Stafford getting his ear, though. He had a lot of good games down there that Saturday. I'm, I'm excited for this Pike Central squad. They're going up against Scott, you know, Rigdon, and Reese Carden. Yep. There's Jaden Stewart, big fella. 
Fades away. No good. Look at Rigdon skying up for the rebound. And, man, you're talking about durable. He's going in, and he's played like a 1980s forward tonight. Yeah, I've got him unofficially for 18 points right now, Daryl. Mm -hmm. They yeah. open this lead up to 21 on Phelps. Yeah, the Hatfield McCoy is my, next to the region tournament, it's my favorite night of the year, or my favorite weekend of the year because, you know, you got 12 games in two days, and, man, you know, you get full of action. I mean, you're talking about you know, the stars you got at that game. Reese Carden, Ryan Rose, uh, uh, Parker Davis, Joey Gollihue, uh going on down. Uh, I don't know who all's there. You got uh, Shelton County. Yeah, Martin County. How about that? You got uh, Luke Hill in the house. Yeah, I mean, you, Pike Central will be there. Yes, Shelby Valley. Yeah, Shelby Valley. Uh, West Side. So, uh, you got some good middle school games at Chatmanville. I'm excited to watch Mr. Reese Garden. Yeah, the game we've done this year, he didn't get to play because he had a calf injury, I'm pretty sure. Yep, Caden Crum gets up Stafford. Stafford stops, pops, and drops. That's Cam's first basket of the night. Yep. Boy, he gets it cross court to Termeyer out to Norman. Yeah, that's Gavin Hamilton. That's just the second team foul on Pike Central this quarter, though. Oh, wow. Now, you talking about that's a game if you're tuning in, you want to circle on your calendar. Scott takes on Pike Central. So, Reese Carden. That's what I was telling you. I was excited to see Rigdon and Carden go in. Yeah. That's it. I think 6.30 Saturday. Yeah. Good steal by Stafford. Yep. Nice active hand by Cam Stafford. Nice pass. Yep. Kagan Crum with his first basket of the night. Pushes the lead up to. Uh oh, Kagan Crum with the steal. Kicks it up court. Nice Easy lay in. Nice by Stafford. Yep. Fox Central just working the Hornets now. That gets Peyton Owen six. Yep. Another oh. steal. Yep. Nice pass. Tell you what, they keep this up. There's going to be some scoring records work. Brad Builder with uh, his fourth point of the night. Yep. Ooh, got a foul over there. Brad Builder. You're talking about a hard nose forward. Well, the, uh, they classify. Uh, uh, I don't know. I see him. They play him forward guard. Uh, forward guard. I don't know. He's kind of kind of that combo. Three-pointer up by Mason Prater. He nets it. That gives Mason 10 on the night. Mm -hmm. You got Stewart. Double comes. Uh, triple team. Saying one and one now. Did he make them both real? Yep. Who was it? That was Jaden Stewart. Jaden Stewart. Gives him eight on the night. Oh, Stewart sent that <laughs> one packing. He knocked that one back in the locker room. Well. Fleming goes up.
back here, folks. Sorry if it froze at, uh, at your house there for a second. We got it fixed back up. So what a turnaround after the first quarter, Kevin Stepp says. Well, we got one more quarter to go. Come right back and join us here on the D&D Sports Network Thursday Night Hoops. If you was pushed out of the area because of loss of work in the coal industry, look no longer. Jim Marr is here for you. Jim Marr is now hiring for all positions in the coal field. Stop by their offices in Logan, West Virginia or in Willing, West Virginia and apply today. Let the folks at Double Quick help you start your 2022 off right. They've brought back the Bourbon Pecan Coffee for a limited time only. You can also quench your thirst with the great deals on fountain drinks they offer daily. Double Quick is your one-stop shop for everything. They offer breakfast, lunch, and dinner. You can stop by one of their many storefront locations spread throughout Eastern Kentucky. Stop by and let Double Quick make your day better. All right, guys, back here live in Phelps, 62-29, Pike Central here to start the fourth period of play. You're watching the D&D Sports Network, number one source of sporting news in the mountains. Fleming has it, gets it back to Mounts. Three-point jumper by Prater's up. No good. Rebounded by Hamilton. Tries to get in the turn line. Stone away by Owens. Gets it up to Stafford. Stone away, back away by Mounts. Hamilton gets all the way to the basket up. Misses the layup. Prater gets the rebound. He's blocked by Owens. A lot of action there, Darrell, in the first 30 seconds. <laughs> yeah, a lot of action. Reese Norman checking back in for, Pot, or for Phelps. He gets it on the right corner. Fleming has it. Nice take by Fleming. Couldn't convert. Ends up in Stafford's hands. Stafford gets to the foul line area. Okay, Stowe, they find Stewart down low. Nice defense by Turnmire to turn him away. Prater attacking the basket. Put back up and in by Hayden Mount. Hayden has 13 on the night. That's a 31-point game right now. You didn't think that coming out, Daryl Jaden Stewart, with the basket after the first period, did you? No, and I go back to the decision there at half. I mean, I know it was one basket, and it should never end up like that. Prater! Yep. A deep three guys, pizza and brew, three-pointer. Yeah, but that uh, – that, Layup you gave up at the half there when you could have went down single digits, I think destroyed the momentum this team built. And, uh, you know, I personally think that's one of the big reasons they come out with not as much fight here in the second half. Yeah, that was a momentum changer right before the half. Mm -hmm. You know, it should never happen like that. You should never, never be able to uh, let one play like that, you know, but it does especially when you already think you're behind the eight ball. There's Stewart. Grabs the rebound. Kicks it out. Stafford. Stafford. Baseline jumper. No, he passes up on it. Nice pass. Kicks it to Peyton Crum. I guess Crum four on the night. Mm-hmm. Norman. Gets it over to Mount. Yeah. Fleming back out the mounts. Deep three, no good. No. Rebounded by Blake Adams. Adams all the way to the basket up. No good. Stewart with the tip in. Gets his own rebound. He's going to be fouled on the play. You know, Jaden has stayed on the post all night, Daryl. He's not once stepped out and took a three. He's been working the boards and the post all night long. Oh, I love it. I you do, know, too. They, uh, you know, that's that's what he's got to do for this Pike Central team to really flourish. You know, they, uh, you, you know, they're going to be games where they're going to need him, you know, to get hot and, you know, shoot like he did at the region tournament last year. But they, I mean, they need more than importantly, 
that post presence down there on the block. And, you know, I, although offensively this hasn't been a normal Jaden Stewart taught uh, night, you know, I, I think the kid has played uh, really well uh, tonight and played really the way that they need him to play. Yeah, but the kid can shoot, man. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Seen him in that region tournament was last year, scored, what, 36, 38 points, got hot. Yeah, and 11 three-pointer, or I think it was 11, no, seven, I think. That was his coming out party. Three-point jumper up, no good by number 15. Checked in the game, Logan Wolford. Listen, Phelps has a kid that uh, Ethan Fields is his name. That's a middle school kid that is fun to watch. You're talking about a kid that can absolutely impact the ball game. Uh, you know, I know I know he's small, but that's a kid. If I'm Coach Ratliff, that I'm calling up and saying, "Buddy, I got a place for you on my team." Because the way he plays, any team would be lucky to have Ethan Fields on the squad. We got to watch him in that JV tournament, and man, is what he fun he, to a watch. Sixth grader, it's the seventh, I think. You never know. Or it could be an eighth. I don't know. Seventh or eighth. Well, if it's a JV, I'd say he's seventh or sixth, didn't he? Yeah, yeah, he's one. Of, no, it was a high school JV tournament. Oh, okay. So he was playing on the JV team. Yeah, I got you. Prager makes one or two. Gets it over. Owen swings it to the corner to Adams. Adams back out to Crum. Crum over to Owens. Owens. I'm getting with steps. Yep. We got 440 left in this one. You're watching Thursday Night Hoops here on the D&D Sports Network. Producer KJ, Daryl McCoy on the call. It's Fox Central on top of Phelps, 68-35. Up next, girls action. Builder chases down the rebound. Gets out Stewart. Stewart, <laughs> long three. You knew you had to get him one yeah. up tonight. Hey, girl. if he gets an open look, he's going to get it. <laughs> That's about as open as he's been all night because they have smothered him with triple teams. Owens. He wants it down there on the post. Yeah, he's begging for it on the block. There he goes to work. Yeah, they're going to get him at the push. Is that his fifth? I think it's his fourth. Fourth, yeah. He picked up that third early. And that's where he's been. Yeah. Mason Prater. Over the mounts. Turnmeyer. That's Logan. Deep free by mounts. Uh, Blake Adams. Nice pump fake by Owens. Yeah. Rebounded by number 15, Wolford. Prater's going to go to the line and shoot two for the Hornets. He's got 14 points on the night. Leading scorer for Phelps. Mount's not too far behind with 13. Prater sinks the first. Makes both, giving 16 on the net. See, this is what you get with Stewart too, Darrell. He can run the point. Oh yeah, yeah. He can play. He can play all five positions on the floor. Yeah, he's the number one prospect in the 2025 class. And that's going to do it for him tonight, Darrell. Yeah, he he finishes the game with. 12 points. Now they swing it out to Adams. Adams straight away, two, no good. Rebound to Owens, kicks it out to Crum. Crum 
Shot no good. Now Crum with the steal and oh, misses the lay in. Now here comes Prater. He got bumped on the play. That's going to be the one and one for Phelps now. You guys, want to thank each and every one of you guys for tuning in. We also want to thank JMS Sales and Services, Hornet Restaurant, Blessings from Above, Phelps One Stop, and Billiter Construction for bringing tonight's action to you. We could not do it without them, folks. So, really want to uh, thank them, folks. Uh, if you guys don't care, frequent their business, like their Facebook pages, and uh, send them a message. Tell them thank you because. They are the sole reason you're getting to watch tonight's game. So appreciate each and every one of you guys at home, too, for joining us here on Thursday Night Hoops. Up next, we got Phelps versus Pike Central girls basketball. Prater makes them both. Yeah, Owens right down the gut. An easy two. Back to a 31-point advantage. Prater. Prater's going back to the line where he's hit his last four. This could give him 20 points on the night if he can sink both of these. Gets the bounce on the front end of a one on one. Yep. We got number 23 coming in the game for the Hornets. That's Noah Staggs. Mason break makes both of them. I'd say that'll be the end of him tonight, Daryl. Yeah. <clears throat> Runner up and no good by number 11, Darnell Tanner. I'm excited for this girls game, girl. I am too. I mean, this is a big time matchup, 60th district. And, you know, these two teams along with Belfry, you know, 60th district's as wide open as any district we got. You could see any one of the two teams in region. I'd say Pike Central's the heads up favorite for the 60th district yeah. in fast boys basketball. Yeah, I think they're the favorites, but you know, to say that Phelps ain't got a chance to upset them, Poor you'd be sorely mistaken. Yeah, absolutely. But Phelps, uh, you know, just talking about tonight here, Phelps, you know, they'll have a chance to pull the upset. Kylie Weddington will be taking on her former team. Callie McCoy coming in as one of the top young players in the mountains. And if you ain't seen Emily Tackett, she is fun to watch. Yeah, she's a senior for Pike Central. Yep. Shot up. No good. I haven't really got to watch her much in basketball. I know uh, in softball she's really good. That's where I get to see her play a lot over the years. Kick up for it. That's number 24, Brady Potter. Yeah, Hamilton went to foul. Going to the line for the Hawks. Guys, I want to thank uh, uh, all you guys for tuning in. And, you know, D&D &D Sports has been a growing business over the years. If there's anything you'd like to see us add or take away, uh, let us know because we want to make sure your view and pleasure is met every time you turn on the D&D &D Sports. So, you know, once again, want to thank you guys. And we got 108 to go here, and it looks like that Pike Central is going to leave Phelps with an impressive 30-point victory. He misses that one. And, you know, Darrell, we can go ahead and name our Mingy Beef Turkey player of the game. Yeah, I don't think it's any question. Yep. <laughs> the, uh, Mr. Rigdon. Yeah, Jalen Rigdon is the Mingy Beef Jerky player of the game. KJ, what's his uh, stat line look like? He had 20 points on the night. 
multiple steals and was excellent on the defensive end. And, and they just led his team. He probably had close to 10 rebounds, yeah. if not more. So I, I, I would say he's probably a, uh, you know, if I don't know what the stats are, but there's a good chance he dropped a triple double. I see what his assist, but I'd say he's probably a couple assists shy of a triple double. Three point jumper up. No good. Rebound by Wolford. 15 seconds to go. Shot up, no good. Pike Central will dribble it out here. 73-41, it's a 32-point victory for Coach Eric Ratliff and the Pike Central Hawks. Jaden, or Jalen Rigdon, Mingy Beef Jerky, player of the game. Rigdon come in, dominated the game on both sides and really put on a show for the people in attendance. Make sure you guys uh, at home follow Rigdon on all social media to keep up with, with all his recruiting news, or you can just follow DD Sports Network and we'll keep you up on it. The uh, sponsors for tonight's game, KJ, real quick, I want to thank JMS Sales and Services. JMS Sales and Services here is a, uh, is a proud supporter of the Phelps Hornets. Right now, they will take care of all your dirt work needs, and they are hiring, folks. JMS Sales and Services is hiring uh, employees. You don't have to have license, but license is appreciated uh, as you can be a dozer operator or you can just be somebody putting in the blue-collar work ethic. That's JMS Sales and Services. I also want to thank our friends at Hornets Restaurant. Hornets Restaurant here in Phelps, Kentucky. If you're leaving the game right now, go down Hornets, tell them D&D sent you, and give them a big thank you. Try some of their world-renowned crazy bread. Yes. And I uh, want to thank Blessings from Above. Valentine's Day coming up. Make your special Valentine's uh, Day lover even a more special one with flowers and gifts from Blessing from Above. One stop. Phelps yep. one stop. Phelps one stop located conveniently at the uh, intersection here at Phelps, Kentucky. They are a new sponsor, and we want to thank them for all the work they do here in the community, supporting the Phelps Hornets and all mountain athletes. And last but not least, want to thank our good friend, Tim Builder at Builder Construction. Builder Construction has uh, spent over 50 years uh, giving back to the community, decades of work uh, put together, helping the Phelps community. Builder construction for all your construction needs. Give them a call today. KJ, what's the uh, stat rundown here? You got the points? Yeah, I got the points lined out. For Phelps, Mason Prater led all scorers with 20 points. Dawson McCoy finished with two. Hayden Mounts had 13, Mikey Fleming two, Reese Norman two, Corey Termeyer two, and for Pike Central, Jalen Rignan had 20, Peyton Compton ended up with seven, Isaac Reynolds ended up with nine, Cam Stafford two, Brad Billard or four, Caden Crum four, and Peyton Owens finished eight with Pike Central. That rounds out the scoring guys here for uh, Phelps. We'll be right back here guys on a different stream with the girls game. So thank you for tuning in to D&D &D Sports Network. We'll be right back.